I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday week. And if you're thinking about buying new games for some friends and family, then this video is for you as we take a look at the direct comparisons of the current contenders to online game stores. We've covered developer differences and incentives, but what about how people will purchase and navigate these stores? The consumer facing experience can be what makes or break a product, ultimately leaving developers not getting their games into the right hands. So today, let's take a look at the look and feel, offered services, and search filtering on the three big platforms, and hopefully help you make an educated decision on where to shop for great titles and perhaps put your own. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan with GameDevHQ.com, and if you're new here, we train game developers from the ground up. Come check out our channel or meet us online at GameDevHQ.com to turn your passion for game development into a career. The first thing that we look at today is the look and feel of the stores, Discord, Epic Games, and Steam. If you're watching as a game developer, you know it's extremely important to have a visually stunning interface without sacrificing customer-friendly usability. If your service looks great, but doesn't feel good to use, then you won't need me to tell you what happens next. All the launchers share a few similarities between their platforms look. The main differences are that on Steam, you are provided not only with the search engine, but all of the filters, categories, curated lists, and services are on the front page. It can be a little cluttered visually, but it makes up for it in its use, which we will go over later. For Discord, the search function is there, but there is only a list of featured games and Nitro games. If you want to see the filtered options, you need to hit view all games to get to it. If there's a curated system is promised on release, I assume it's because I haven't purchased anything from the store directly to make them have that, because it didn't appear for me. As for Epic, it has no search function because it only has 16 titles on it and a group of mod editor options. The launcher does look very smooth and uses a very simple color scheme and then provides full art covers of each game title, which makes the selections look super cool and bright, but the lack of titles makes me feel like that's the only reason they set it up this way. As more titles become available to the store, I hope they don't change the full art listings because personally, I think it makes it look pretty cool. For the feel of the three platforms, Discord and Epic have a very simplistic approach. This doesn't make it a good thing, however, as going through it's not completely clear on how to find the right games for you. In Discord, the search filters are actually pretty limited. The Discord store search functions reside on the View All Games page, following up with a system that feels incomplete in comparison to what we're used to on the Steam platform. If I wanted to find single player or multiplayer or MMOs, there isn't a search filter for this category. You can only find out how many players after you've clicked on a game. There's a few other missing filters as well, but those are the ones that stuck out the most to me as I often prefer multiplayer over single player, and it would be nice to filter only the titles that matter to me. For the Epic Store, I feel like it's really missing everything. There is no search function already due to the lack of titles, but it also has no tagging at all. I view a game and can't see anything about it other than a minor description and a whole bunch of media about the game. It looks great, but realistically I have no idea what these games are until I click on the title and click FAQ and I'll be given what feels like a blog article to read to get answers to my questions. I want Epic Games to do well, but it's kind of silly that I can't find the type of games I want without actually researching the title. Sometimes the FAQ system isn't even there, um, it appears that it's up to the developer to make sure that it gets placed. Steam, of course, lets you mouse over a title, shows you the most important tags, the rating, and auto-scrolls through the media, all within the search so you don't even have to click it unless you want more. There are tons of services between each platform that really make or break the value of investing your time and money into the games that they offer. Epic is on the move with its free game every two weeks. It's completely free and you get to keep it forever. They started the release with a free copy of Subnautica, which I'm downloading as we speak, but from what I'm hearing, there are people having tons of issues about learning the game and they actually went over to the Steam discussion boards to get answers because there's no support system on the Epic Game Store. Discord offers a few awesome features that are pretty unique. The first one is the obvious, which is the Nitro Game Store. Discord offers a few awesome features that are pretty unique. The first one is the obvious, which is the Nitro Game Store. It's Netflix for video games, and you can just install and play whichever games you want from a pretty large library. Some of these games are pretty well known, as well a few first on Discord titles, meaning that it's exclusive to the platform at the time. This library will, of course, grow. The second big feature Discord is offering was a universal launcher. The launcher boasts that all of your games can be launched directly from the quick launcher in Discord, regardless of where you purchase the game from. Now that, personally, I think is awesome. But it's not completely universal yet. 
have a few titles that aren't being picked up by the launcher. This is a bug that they're aware of as about two months ago, according to a post that I found online. So until this is fixed, the service is sort of lacking. When it reaches their goal, however, I'll be turning Discord on the moment my computer starts. Additionally, Epic nor Discord offer direct internal support. Discord does have verified Discord channels attached to the games, which you can connect and discuss issues or make friends, but this requires the developers to set one up, and I've seen more than a few titles not having one, giving it zero support. As for Steam, the discussion boards are built right in, the search functions are phenomenal, and Steam has awesome seasonal sales that will make you have tons of games that you have never played because they are just so cheap to buy. While there isn't any freebies or subscription services, the Steam platform continues to provide curated content based on your profile, which is something Discord offers to do as well, but I sort of left out that review of it because I haven't purchased anything off the Discord store, so I think that's why I haven't actually gotten to experience it. Hopefully, it's a powerful curation tool because I love the idea of going through a discovery queue that's personable, as Discord states that they will probably do. Um, it probably won't work like the actual discovery queue. Likely, it'll be, here's a a recommended game and have a have a quote from the employee that recommended it. The last bit for Steam is to point out that the streaming functionality that lets live plays appear on the stores page for anyone viewing the title. This is pretty awesome and it helps developers and its community really kind of engage with the product. Discord offers a screen share service but that's nothing close to being able to share the experience with the entire audience. I was also unable to confirm the usability regarding things like matchmaking servers on Discord and Epic, which is super important to look into for those who want to make multiplayer games to ensure stability. I haven't had any issues using Steam servers on most of the games that I've played, but I know that other people have. If we find out about these servers in the future, we'll let you guys know and probably an article or something. We hope you enjoyed this brief look at the comparisons between Steam, Discord, and Epic game stores, and it's given you a bit of a bigger picture of what to expect over the next coming years as these stores shift and try to compete with each other. We truly hope that a healthy competition creates some well-needed changes in this area of the gaming world. Whether or not you think any of the new platforms have what it takes to adapt and take on Steam, it's very clear that it's shaken up the industry and it's only a matter of time until we get a response from Steam, which is something that we're really excited to see. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this comparison between the platforms for those looking to invest your time and money into being involved with them. A special shout out today to our recent Plus and Pro members, E3 Unity Dev, Laird K, Copacetic, Lost Moonmen, and all of our other community members. We wouldn't be able to keep making content if it wasn't for you guys. So let us know if there's anything that you want to see in the comments below, and you guys enjoy the holidays. Later, dudes.